by Southwest is over, but today City Council wants to revisit how the festival went. Everything from security to traffic and alcohol. They want the public's feedback, too, in an effort to make some changes for the future. Kay Whitehall is live in Austin with details this morning. Hi, Kay. Good morning. Well, we're along Red River where that horrible accident happened during South by Southwest. And it's because of that tragic event that led some city council members to decide that they want to do a year-end evaluation of this festival. Now, that would include getting feedback from not only stakeholders, but also the public, like the neighborhoods that are around the festival, as well as the Texas Alcohol and Beverage Commission about alcohol that's donated or free at events. Now, because this festival continues to grow every single year, some are even saying it's become a spring break destination. Council members Martinez, Riley, and Tovo say it's important to find out what is going well and what's not, all in an effort to make the festival better and safer for the those who attend. Today's resolution calls for yearly feedback on things like traffic management when it comes to biking or walking, driving, crowd dynamics like lines that run out into the streets, events sprawl into neighborhoods, and the capacity of holding this type of event in Austin. Council members want the Music and Urban Transportation Commissions to also get involved in the feedback concerning possible code changes. Folks are just wanting to kind of take a couple steps back and kind of look at how this thing is organized and are there sort of better, more efficient ways to make it a better experience for everybody. And councils proposing this feedback would come in the form of online surveys and public meetings. Dates for those possible meetings won't be set until if and when this resolution passes. That feedback, though, could lead to some changes for next year's South by Southwest Festival. And, of course, we'll keep you posted. We're live in Austin. Kate Wadaw, KXAN News.